He has to work for his points, is basically what he's saying, and the big servers don't. And Philippus is one of those big servers. 15 love. Uh, I guess his arm's loose. He hit that first serve of the match, 135. One of the keys today for Andre is how effective is he on the second serve of Philippus's? Well, he was very effective there. <laughs> he'll, he'll accept all gifts. Philippus is serving into the sun, remember, this is not a good sign for him. Twenty-seven mile angle. It's quite an angle, but on the line, ace. up on the Australian Open this year, just didn't have to, said he was going to get ready for the uh, first round of the Davis Cup for the U.S., but then went down to keep his game to practice, and for one reason or another, pulled out of the last minute. Olivia Washington yeah, yeah. his place, and the U.S. won their match over Brazil. Davis Cup captain Tom Gallagher next to me here. One game more, first set. Strong service game from Andre. Three out of four first serves in, and hitting very solid, clean balls off the forehand. Interesting, Cliff, to see in this match if Andre will back up and give a little bit more room to give himself more time. He kind of prides himself on standing on the baseline, taking that ball early. Well, he's a couple of feet behind the baseline right now. Good question, Tankelly. You'd, you'd hope he would. <laughs> the center service linesmen have to draw straws for this match. They, <laughs> they probably fear that center service line with Philippusis out there. Dirty love. There, there he is. He did flinch a little bit on that first serve. his year last year he won the olympics and he won the, the uh, mercedes super nine event in cincinnati and he was uh, two matches away from winning the open and if he had done that of course the whole year would have looked different for him played very badly at the french championships and at wimbledon losing in the early rounds there but he lost to chang in the semi-finals at the open and uh, did not look good in that match He played a very difficult quarterfinal match against Thomas Booster, night match at the Open. I think that took a lot of energy away from not only physical energy, but mental energy. Is that the first point that um, Agassi has won on Philip Booster's serve? No, he double faulted in the first game. Thanks. Second. Anyway, Philippus has had 
Does not have any trouble holding serve yet. It is two games to one on serve in the first set. This one, two, first set. Luke, how do you see this match overall? I mean, who is you? Who do you predict is going to win this thing? Or who did you before it started? Well, I really like Agassi's chances because this is a guy who loves a challenge, and this is a major challenge in his year in 1997. Do you think that Philip Pusis, like the uh, top players are saying, has got a shot at number one in the future? Well, he definitely hits it as hard as anybody, of course, has served, but just his ground strokes, he can volley well. Can do hit. He can just hit all the shots with so much power. He's the new breed. He's the player of the 90s in the sense where he serves big, hits ground strokes big, and for a big guy, he moves well. But I would say, Luke, that might be one question mark. I mean, he moves pretty well for his size, but does he move well enough? You can hear him with a Pete Sampras or somebody like that. You're absolutely right. He's always going to be struggling. He's always going to have to work on his footwork, his sprints, lots of jump roping like Michael Chang does to make sure he is light on his feet. Philippoussis is six foot four. He's a giant of a man, but he's a very gentle giant as a personality. The guy's just. He's a very nice young man. He's a young kid at heart, actually. I. Uh, my daughter Petra was with me at Wimbledon last year, and, and Philippusa spent most of his time in the in the uh, arcade playing video games with all the kids at Wimbledon. Between Two games hitting, all. Between me. hitting 135, 40 mile an hour serve. Two games all. Now, when you're playing against Philip Pusas, you can't even think that he's hitting a second serve. You really have to prepare for two first serves. 116 miles an hour on the second serve is unheard of. That's a big one, let's see, 130 mile an hour ace, his third of the day. This is his third serve game. 40 love. I guess he's won two points against his serve. Still only two, it's three games to two. First set, live coverage, Newsweek Champions Cup. More, more to this. That's the first per point that Andre's lost on his serve so far today. getting a short ball in the forehand hits the approach to the forehand covers the line and makes the easy block volley into the open court Andre's got to take those short balls and come in on them it's a good play serving into the Sun Agassi 1530 danger time for the Pusis leading three games to two. First double fault for Andre what he's looking into there. The sun is right behind that fixture up there where we are, actually. 30 all. It's a very smart serve, because anybody with the one-hand backhand doesn't like that big kicker up high in the backhand. Very good play from Andre.
on that one and it's game point. Yeah, I think that kick serve is very effective out here in the desert cliff. The ball's bouncing extremely high. Very difficult to handle. Kicking serve the back end gets dividends. It is three games all. As far as the Mercedes Super 9 titles is concerned, Andre Agassi has won more than anybody. He's won them on different surfaces. Thomas Muster has won seven. He has won all of his on clay. Pete Sampras has won them on three different surfaces, his seven. He uh, won the Italian championships on clay, among others. Chang, Becker, Courier, etc. Fifth ace already for, for young Mark Filipousis. Pete Sampras, just a minute ago, he signed autographs for more than half an hour yesterday and talked to the public about his new Aces for Charity program. Going to give $100 for every Ace this year to charity. I wonder if we could get Mark Filipousis to sign up as well. <laughs> well, your charity, the Tim and Tom Gullickson Foundation, will benefit. So will Andrea Yeager's Kid Stuff Foundation and the Vitas Carolitis. Actually got a return back. Third point they've actually played other than Mark just hitting serves. I'm sure Andre would love to get this guy in rally so he could run him around the court. Thirty fifteen. That was his second serve at 118 miles an hour. Unbelievable. That's confidence. That's from winning last week. ahead four games to three on serve if you cannot get a ticket for this great championship well maybe you can get into one of these get a bird there Do you like the yeah we're going out at spring break during the lifting we're going out to Vail I used to like it, then these guys just passed me. You know, I'm too competitive, so I said, the heck with that played squash down at the bottom of the game. Yeah, my daughters beat me now, so. <laughs> 15 love, Agassi. 30 love. Andre's got a good spring in his strap today. He really looks like he's focused and really intense. Or she got to be and dodge those bullets out there.
he flails away from the baseline, the gully, but I don't, I, you know, why not? Because Agassi hasn't come close to breaking him. Absolutely. I'm sure Andre would love to get in those rallies when Philippoussis is serving. He holds on four games all. Another good service game by Andre. His third love game on serve. Just 20 years old, Philippoussis. There is his, his uh, coach, Tony Roach of Australia. He is the, also the coach of the Australian Davis Cup team. Another ace, the captain of the Australian Davis Cup team, he could, is uh, John Newcomb. He could knife that backhand volley, couldn't he, uh, Blippi? You got that right. Yeah. Yeah. He and Roy Emerson, I think, had the two best backhand, backhand volleys. <laughs> After that little controversy, he wins the game in a point, rather, anyway. It's 15 love. Philippoussis. There's Brad Gilbert. He is Andre Agassi's coach. Tough time lately the two of them have had. One of his matches, I think it was at the uh, ATP Tour Finals when Agassi went out uh, really with a whimper more than with a bang against uh, um, Pete Sampras. He said, geez, I wish I could have gone out there and played for him, but you just can't <laughs> do that in tennis. 15 all. Philippoussis to serve and gives him 15-30. Good opportunity here for Andre. First time he's been ahead on the Philippoussis serve. See him saying to himself, well, I've got the serve back. Now let me just take it easy and let him make a mistake. But that's a mistake, I think. He, he definitely gets right here. He makes a good get to stay in the point. He waits. He holds his position. He guesses right, but the power of the Philippus's forehand was just too much for him. Pretty old. miss for Andre. He wanted to keep that ball on the Philippus's backhand, which is Mark's safer shot. Game point Philippus's. Oh, a big return of serve off of 129 mile an hour first serve from Philippus's and then Philippus's just bangs it down the line for a clean winner. Great stuff, isn't it? 5-4 on serve. First serve. I really like the way he's starting to pick up the ball. You know, he's starting to hit the middle of the string, starting to get the ball deep, getting in some rallies, putting Philippus's on the defensive. 15 love. Obviously, Mark's strategy to chip a lot of backhands, keep that ball low, making Andre bend and get underneath it with that double-hander. Sold out stadium here, and there are not many seats available on the center court now. The folks have come in from the outside courts because Clearly, this is the most compelling match of the day. Thirty-fifteen. 
And Lapoose is wondering why those backhands are sailing. Well, he's a little bit late. Ball's getting up too high on him. Velvet could stand in a little closer and take the ball early. Another backhand return of serve air off the high kicker. And certainly Cliff with this hot weather here, it makes the ball bounce a lot it's higher. higher doesn't it? Absolutely. No humidity. Andre giving the ball boys a little rest there. <laughs> Says he'll get his own ball. Game point Agassiz. Luke, I like the squeaks in the Agassiz footwork, though. He's moving, and he's really taking those small little steps. Gully, it really reminds me of Jimmy Connors. Of course, you played him a number of times, and even today on the senior circuit, when you watch Jimmy Connors, you hear the squeaking around. And so the, those are the small adjustment steps that the top players take. The set up for the ball. Agassiz holds on. It's five games old. Yep, yep. The last event that Agassiz won. This is the first Mercedes Super 9 of 97. It's the first Super 9 of every year. Andre missed a big chance in that first point. When you get a second serve from Philippoussis, you've got to take advantage of it. Took a lot off of that one, 92 miles an hour, but he put the big kicker in and it worked. And certainly coming from six foot four, that kicker's gonna bounce a little bit higher. It's a serve that James jams Agassi he takes that forehand. He just whips it cross court. Game point for Lapusis. Very difficult shot off a low ball. That was another ace, and it is six games to five. Philippusis leading. There are some great names that are recognized here. Don Budge, Arthur Ashe, and Roy Emerson. Back in a minute. Five, six, first set. Another good first serve from Andre. He's serving about 70% so far, Cliff, and he's about 83% effective on the first serve. Court forehand by Agassiz. Really got to that ball early and set up well. 30 low.
run him around a little more before the tiebreaker, Cliff, and tire him out so he can't surf so hard. Look, I learned all sorts of stuff from you, Coach. That's not something that I would have thought of. Well, maybe I'll pick you for the Davis Cup. You're an American now, are you? Blistering backhand down the line by Agassi. It's a great way to go into a tiebreaker, holding your serve at love. Very positive game. First to seven with a two-point lead wins the first set. Watch this early preparation. He just rips that backhand down the line. One of the best shots in tennis. Australian Davis Cup captain, you know, he's one of the legends of Australian tennis alongside, let's say, Glaver Emerson, Tony Roach, one of the really great ones. Anyway, he says that uh, that uh, Philippousis needs to learn when to use his power and when to play the high percentage shot. has tried to blister that forehand from about 20 feet behind the court. I think that might have been one of the times where he may have gone for a percentage clip. Yep. One point all in the tiebreak. Baseline, he gets a little help from the net court, but he just rips that forehand. And here he steps back and rips that backhand down the line. Good decision there to step back instead of coming forward and playing the half volley. So the mini break goes to Philippousis. He leads two points to one in the tie break. And your mentality in a tiebreaker, I'm sure Andre's wanting to get that point right back. Lose that point, you gotta get it back right away. There's a good chance with a second serve. He was 109 mile an hour second serve wide. And that machine doesn't it usually takes a couple of miles off if you serve the thing wide. Good records for both players for this year. Philippousis hasn't lost one, I guess he's only played one. Somebody's gonna lose one here. Yep. 3 1 Philippousis. Second double fault for Mark and came at a very opportune time for Andre. Scott barring a missile off the return. Didn't even come close. At three points all, they will change sides. looking into the sun here. Safe to say this would be an even match so far, Clint? <laughs> six points, six games, all six. Three points all in the tie break. the edge because of the side he's on now. Absolutely, and Andre made a little bit of an unforced air there. He had a, a ball that was coming fairly slow, and he pulled up on it and hit it long. He's urging himself to come on. 4-3 for the Pusses.
double fault. That's the second of the tiebreak. He's third of the match. And that puts Agassi back even in the tiebreak. What a gift. Two of them, in fact. Four points all now. Agassi moving to cover the backhand and the clean ace into the forehand side, 112 miles an hour. Ninth ace for Philippoussis. He's using that wide serve very effectively on the deuce court. 5-4 Philippoussis. Tony Roach, the captain of the Australian Philippoussis. Coach, rather. And he has been through a few Philippoussis. Yes, he has. Oh! Unbelievable save. Unbelievable save by Agassi. Fans love it. Now, Philip Uzi just runs around the backhand side. Watch this. He rips his forehand return as hard as he possibly can. Agassi makes a diving half volley from the baseline for a winner. Oh, even at five now, six points to five for Philippoussis, and Philippoussis will serve. This is set point. Very smart play. Takes it back in on the first serve. Chips comes in and knocks off that backhand volley. Very smart play by Philippus is coming in on the first serve of Agus. side and Philippoussis wins the first set in the tie break seven points to five Philippoussis leads by one set to nine we will take a break and when we come back Andre Agassi will try to win set two and stay in the Newsweek Champions Cup we're live oh. it has done a lot of damage that serve hasn't it yeah, pretty good first serve percentage considering serving that fast. He's won 89% of his first serve points. But the real key stat in that first set was he was able to win 67, two out of three second serve points, which for Andre simply isn't good enough. He's got to be much more effective returning the second serve of Philippoussis, and that might help take a little steam out of the first serve. 40 Love Agassi. Second double fault by Andre. Once again, he's having a fairly comfortable service game, which he did throughout the first set with the exception of one game. second but he's down a set we're at the Hyatt Grand Champions Resort and this is a great place to spend some time back in a minute mm -hmm. check with this year they're 12 and 1 in spring training they're looking good I believe that might be the first point Andre's won off Philippus's first serve This is key for Andre to get off to a good start in this set, Cliffy, after losing that mm, first set. Get that right. Love to sneak an early break here. Beautiful play by Agassi. 
see. Really pumped up here. Here he's set up. He hits a good angle on that forehand to get Filippus' stretch, and he takes the backhand early and rips it cross court again to the open court. This is a great opportunity. Second serve, love 30. Come on. It's a good return of serve, too. You can hear Agus telling himself, come on. Well, for the best returner of serve, certainly in this era, and maybe of any era, Cliff, he hasn't broken serve in eight sets of tennis. Well, that's right. You know what? This is the first break point he's had in this match, too. In fact, there have been no break points for either player. <laughs> Love 40. at that one. He jumped on that ball. Kelly, the matches that you're talking about with the one in uh, Scottsdale against Javier Sanchez. He didn't break serve there. He lost to him. Gustavo Quirtan. That was in Memphis. And before that, the Greg Ruzetsky match in San Jose. That's two for Filippousis. Still break point for Agassi. That's the tenth ace. Reached double figures there with that big 121 out wide to the forehand. 10 to zip. Agassi made his move before Philippoussis made, even started his swing that time. So Philippoussis smartly waited for him to make it and then winged it into the backhand corner. Incredible get, actually, on a 134. First serve up to T. do about that even if you anticipate that one you just, what can you do yeah you have to start guessing I think Cliff but uh, certainly in the do side it seems like he's been going out wide uh, way more often than he's been going down the middle It, uh, it really hurts when you've got break points like that and can't convert, doesn't it? I'll tell you one thing, Cliff. The intensity is unbelievable from Andre Agassi. Remember, last week when he lost to Javier Sanchez, he just got off crutches three to four days before he played that match. So for a guy who really relies on his footwork, it was very tough for him to get up for that match. But his timing is good right now. He's playing a very solid player, a very confident player in Philippoussis. Luke, explain the crutches. Well, you remember, he against Curitan in Memphis, he sprained his ankle very bad, and, and he was actually off the tennis court, didn't hit a tennis ball in Vegas for a, a number of days, and really had to lay off that ankle because it was badly sprained. Oh. As you can see, he's really moving. 15 all. How tough is it to be serving from that side, Luke? Ne Second serve. That's good. Wide, Filippoussis hesitates. No overrule. Yeah, Flipper doesn't like that one at all. He ran around that backhand and leveled it. Cleared the net by three or four feet. Just pushed it wide. Game point. of Australia won the first in the tiebreak. And Woodruff coming through, 6-3 in the third. Justin Kimmelstab uh, won the Popman Cup with Chanda Rubin and brought home some good, good bread. Oh! If you tuned in for the NBA Finals films, be aware that this is live coverage here of the Newsweek Champions Cup. We're going to stay with this match until it's finished. 
Andre Agassi and Mark Philippoussis. We're in the second set. First set in the tiebreak to Philippoussis. Agassi leading two games to one in the second. And there's a good break for Agassi. Philippoussis had the easy forehand. He could have hit it anywhere, and he hit it long. 15 all. Jogging to the other side of the court. Fourth double fault by Philippoussis. Gives him another opportunity here, Cliff, 15-30. If that little jog doesn't send some message to Philippoussis and nothing will. Agassi really wants this, as you guys have been saying. And he's delightful to watch when he's in this frame of mind. He, he's very good to watch. Took a weird, it sure did, pop off that mishit backhand by Philippoussis. Opportunity lost there by Andre. That is a tough serve to take. 134 into the body. Here's the jam serve, Agassi on the baseline, and he just gets jammed by the pace of the ball. Oh. Andre making a very good angled return off the backhand. Catches Philippus's stretched out wide. Deuce. Agassi really making him work in his service games the last two times, Cliff. Yep. It happened in the first set, too, but he still was unable to break. Oh. He had three break points all in that same game and did not convert. Oh. Now, another double fault. He's fifth. And Agassi has his fourth break point of the match. He really needs a conversion here. He's working so hard. He hasn't gotten the benefit from it yet. This is his time. Ah! Will he go for another huge second serve? Will he take something off and play a little safer? Serving into the sun. Huge second serve, and he pays the price, coach, as Agassi breaks for the first time in the match. That's the first break of the match, the sixth double call for Mark Philippoussis, and Andre Agassi has the lead three games to one in the second. Well, you really have to wonder, Cliff, how long can somebody keep hitting second serves 115, 116 miles an hour and keep getting them in the box? Exactly. Obviously, obviously there, he double faulted twice from Deuce to give Ag Agassi the, the break. Doing a little happy Gilmore there, taking a little spin and hitting the ball. I can see complaining about that call. It was clearly out. No, says Steve Ulrich in the chair. Look out to you, Coach. Yeah. I guess he's on the baseline as you see him there. And he's preparing, and it, it looks clearly out to mm -hmm. me. It did on that replay, too. Can he regroup here? Oh! He's got the break. He certainly doesn't want to let this game slip away. Love 15. If he loses this game. It's 
got to take his time here, regroup, and get these two points back that he's down. Especially against a guy like Philip Hussis, you don't know how many chances you're going to get to break a guy like exactly. that. Exactly. Is, you know, it worked for him there. Remember in the tiebreaker of the first set, and that was the one that set up match or set point for him, Gully. But you take a little bit of a risk trying to do that too too often as well. It's not an easy shot to play. Chip on that first serve. The kicker. Almost like he's guiding it. He's not knifing it like Ken Rosewall used to. Or Steffi Groff does. Or Todd Woodbridge for that matter. 30 all. Putting the ball in play there, he could have hit those a lot harder. In a way, he is looking for Philippoussis to make the errors, and that can be dangerous. Well, I think he can make some errors, Philippoussis, if you get him moving. But if he's set up, he's extremely dangerous. break for Philippusa, so they trade it breaks a serve we are back on serve in the second set Agassi leading 3-2 Philippusa to serve he won the first Philippusa to serve so again scoring another ace on the deuce court out wide to the forehand ace number 12 was going to play as I remember Tim Henman in Australia and have to pull out because of tendonitis I guess in the forearm and that might have been because he was testing different rackets yeah. down there in Australia yeah trying to serve with those old wood rackets The big winding forehand, 30-15 Philippoussis. Tennis Magazine sent down a crew down there, and they, they took pictures, and they measured, as you watch this replay, the Philippoussis serve with the different uh, equipment. They had a regular length racket, and they had a uh, wooden racket, and they had an extra length racket. The difference in the speed of the three serves was four miles an hour. <laughs> he can hit that ball that hard with a wood racket. 40-15 holds on it is three games all in the second set he Philip Hussis, won the first take a look at that Mark Philip Hussis with a wood racket 122 miles an hour 124 with a standard length and you can see how he had different accuracies with the different uh, rackets that he was using this was all down in Australia just before the Australian Open take that mid-court ball, hit the approach, and get in. Something he sometimes is reluctant to do. Here's that short forehand that he rips, and he comes in. 
He knocks off a volley back behind Philippoussis, which is a good volley against a big guy. They have a hard time changing direction. <laughs> Serving into the sun, 15 all. Philippoussis looks at his career pretty much as an adventure, much like the cartoons that he likes to draw. If I wasn't playing tennis, he says, I'd be a cartoonist. I love to draw stories about the animals you see in Disney cartoons. But he well, says, none of these animals are me. He says, I'm the little boy who has the adventures in the cartoon. <laughs> Certainly having one giant size adventure on the men's professional tour. Oh, you got that right. Here's the backhand. He gets a nice angle on it and he just pulls it wide. Well struck. That's what we call a good air because he hit it well, but he just missed his target. 30 15. There is such a thing as a good air. <laughs> Trivia question there's another famous cartoonist as a tennis personality after this. Another great angle off the Agassi backhand. Stretches Philippoussis out more than he'd like to be. 40-15 Agassi. The answer to the trivia question, Monica Sellis is dead. He was... Caroli. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the U.S. clay courts is at Disney this year, so maybe <laughs> Philippoussis can play a little clay court tennis and draw some caricatures at the same time. <laughs> Michael Chang, I understand, has signed up for that tournament. Game point, Agassi. Second, first set to Philippoussis. Stay right there. As Philippoussis pounds his 16th ace, actually his 14th ace, excuse me. Well, he'll get to 16 pretty soon anyway, <laughs> I'm sure. And Agassiz's got to simply be effective on this second serve from Philippoussis. Hit a good return, but the forehand flew on him a little bit. Oh. Winner of this match takes on Todd Woodbridge of Australia. Good play by Agassi to take that shot and come in. Philippus is trying to make a passing shot from something like 20 feet behind the court. Number 15 for Big Mark. Yeah, 
Philippoussis holds on. It is even in the second. Four games all. First set to Philippoussis. Again, Todd Woodbridge is waiting for the winner of this. Carlos Moy is the number eight seed. He will take... As he's proven, not only did he beat Becker in Australia, he also beat him indoors in the Paris Open. It's danger time for Agassi now. He's got to play solid at the end of this set. One, two, three, four. there is your if your mic is open uh, some thoughts well there really isn't much to report down here it's just both of these guys slugging it out this is really going to be in some outstanding matches in the future Agassi and Philipposis these guys meeting in the semis and finals of grand slams the next two or three years Talking about Carlos Moya just a second ago, look, in your opinion, does he have as good a future as Philippoussis? Well, you know, this is a guy, of course, from Spain, plays a lot similar to the other guys from Spain. Back quarter, he's going to play it a lot under, even though he does well indoors and, in, and on hard court, he doesn't have that big weapon like Philippoussis does with the serve. 15 30, big point. But he is a full fighter. Angel. Moya can really nail the ball off the forehand side. You think of Barris Ategi, you think of uh, Bruguera, tons of guys from Spain. I like the big weapon, Philipposis. Cliff, that was a situation there where he shouldn't have went nuclear. He was really trying to go. Philip was trying to do too much with that ball instead of just rolling it deep or even slicing it deep into the corner. What I call going nuclear, really trying for too much, mm -hmm. too much power. Players who play like Philip uh, certainly Goran Ivanisevic is one. Mark Rosse is another. <laughs> Big serves, all of them, and then questionable ground strokes. Appreciating that unforced error at 30 all. He's got to keep his nose in front here at the end of the second set. Agassi holds on. It's five games to four, Agassi. He lost the first. This is the first Mercedes Super 9 Championship of the year. Anyway, the Scud Philippus is serving, and that's another ace from him. And it's 15 love, 4 5, second set. This big serve is certainly an advantage when it gets closer at the end of the sets because he's getting so many free points, takes some pressure off him. Turn from Agassi. Unbelievable power on the full stretch up that backhand. Oh, yeah. 127 mile an hour ace down the line. 17th ace. Effortless motion. club or your park or wherever you want to play five games all second set they've traded breaks in the second no breaks in the first 
when in the tie break by Philippoussis. There's Brad Gilbert, man who says that he used to win ugly and then wrote a book along those lines. He's Andre's coach. Agassi setting up for that overhead. Got that left hand blocking out the sun. Like he's looking up at a solar eclipse or something, and <laughs> then he puts that thing away. Another service winner for Agassi. exhorting himself to make that forehand. <laughs> he caught Philippoussis trying to run around his backhand and went for that big second serve. Down the tee for his first ace of the gutsy, match. Gutsy play that. See Philippoussis make that move over to get a forehand, and Agassi must see that and goes right down the middle. Good time for his first ace. had given up on that point. He basically was ready to walk to his chair. And Andre shanked that backhand. sideline letting everyone know that he is very much into this match he leads 6-5 on serve in the second the Santa Rosa Mountains in the background now Agassi leads 6-5 for Lucas is serving into the sun now one thing I'd like to see Andre do differently I'd like to see him you know move way back move way over he really hasn't changed his return to serve position on the court at all in this match On the changeover, he came up and said, Andre, uh, right before he sat down, he said, he just smells an opportunity right now. 15 all, the voice of Luke Jensen at courtside. Ooh. That's some heavy hitting. And the crowd sense this opportunity for Agassi. 15-30. Agassi half volleying from the baseline off a missile. Making another good get and then tries to wrong foot him and he puts it into the net. Agassi really working hard with his feet here. He makes a good recovery and it's trying to go back behind him. He's pumped. Philippoussis lets it go. He's not used to his first serve coming back. Set points for Agassi. Very irritated when his first serve comes back. <laughs> How dare you, Andre, making that return. He doesn't want to hit another ball after that serve. He can Set point Agassi. Yes. 
Is Andre going to be looking for that wide one? He's going there very often on that deuce side. See if he can pick it. You simply got to make the return here, Cliff, on this second serve. Make him play. such thing. He was going for the clean winner. Still a set point for Agassi. Dali, you were talking a minute ago about the speed of Agassi. Where does he fit into the overall picture against the guys like Michael Chang, for example? Well, he moves very well when he's into it. Here's the second serve, 115. He tries to rip that forehand return. He's got to make him play when he, he gets that second serve, especially on the big points. That's the 19th. Agassi has won. Deuce. That's the 20th. It's nice to have that, isn't it? That's one way to get out of trouble. I'm sure Andre would love to have that second serve back at 1540. I'll tip that one into the crowd. Spring training ball. Keep it. he wants to play long rallies on the Philippus sir if you tuned in to watch NBA today we thank you for that this is live coverage though of an incomplete match it is Agassi and Philippus and watch this slam dunk of a serve you basketball fans first set to Philippus in the tie break no breaks are serve in the first set in the second set they've traded breaks to serve it is 6-5 Agassi leading. He's had two break points in this game so far. They were set points as well, but he was unsuccessful. This is game point. And game to Philippoussis on his 21st ace. I'm happy to report we played a little basketball at the French Open last year. The Americans against the Aussies. And Philippoussis and Rafter played some hoops with us. And they were pretty good players, but I will say the Americans prevailed. I didn't think anything else. You know, if you start a story like that, I figure you I would have never to. say anything if they'd beaten us. <laughs> Tie break time. First to seven points with a two point lead wins the tiebreak. Andre's got to take care of his service points in this tiebreak. And that's a good start. One to Agassi. Ball's down. Ball's down. Measured that forehand and hit it down the line for a clean winner. Gully, I don't know if you can really tell from upstairs, but Philipposis is really starting to feel it. We're only an hour and 33 minutes into this match, and he's starting to bend his knees a little bit. Fatigue is really starting to set in. If he can get out of this breaker, he'll be lucky because this third set would be torture on him. Yeah, I think if Andre can get him running, uh, I think he's, he's in good shape. Just got to get that serve back. One point all in the tie break. Luke Jensen at the court side. He's sitting on the court. 22nd ace. Tom Gillickson up here, and I'm Cliff Drysdale. Did you ever hit that many aces in your whole career, no. Cliff? 22? This is, this is a new language of tennis. <laughs> 2 1. Well, that, doesn't, that doesn't count as an ace, does it, when they no, touch no. it like that? Service winner. Andre needs some first serves here. 
and can't get behind in this tiebreak. jumps on the second serve. Philippoussis beating Pete Sampras at the Australian Open last year. He played Sampras again twice in Grand Slam tournaments, both at Wimbledon and the US Open, and lost to him both times. But he has a big win over him. And after he beat Sampras, he said, if I can beat number one player in the world, I can beat anybody. You cannot afford to go down two mini break points against the serve of the Scud. Then he promptly lost a fellow country vet, Mark Woodford, two, two, and two. Then he turned the tables on Woodford, the U.S. Open. Remember, he had a four-set win over him, which was, I mean, that was good for him mentally. And the winner of this match meets Todd Woodbridge, the right-handed version of the Woodies. will change ends. Agassi goes to the less comfortable side. Philippoussis leading 4-2. Philippoussis has, has yet to miss a first serve in this tie break. He's getting so much leverage from his legs, even though I talked about the fatigue factor. His motion is so solid. He gets so much power from his big, strong legs, going up into the ball, putting in lots of heavy spin. So it's not just the speed, but also the heavy ball with spin. It's really knocking Agassi's ball around, his racket around. And wouldn't you say, Luke, he's very keen to close this match out in this tie break. There's definitely blood in the water, and Philippoussis feels it. He's going for the, going for the kill right now. Turn of the second serve. That was 108 mile an hour second serve, and Agassi dealt with it handily. What? With this second serve coming out wide to the Agassi forehand, he turns those shoulders and he accelerates through it, rips right into the ball. Big winner. And that's by design. That's thousands upon thousands of practice return of serves. And now he's got to get that first serve. Oh. Trailing 3-4 in the tiebreak. Second set, down a set. Four points all. Philippoussis looked a little indecisive there. He couldn't quite decide what he wanted to do with that backhand. Went down the line and found the net. Can Agassi get ahead for the first time in this tie break? That was a tired shot, Luke. He didn't move his feet. He didn't get out of the way of the ball. And he hit it relatively easy forehand into the net. Well, he's just standing up on it. He didn't use his legs that time like he does on a serve. And now this is really crunch time for both players. Agassi can just pull one of these two points out. He's going to be serving for the second set. Four, five, second serve. I guess he was guessing middle there. Oh! He played it perfectly. The slice backhand from Philippus has kept the ball low. He had to try to pull it up over the net. Somehow it clipped the tape and landed back on his side of the net. It's five points four. Great return by Agassi. He just missed that low forehand. Another ace. 
only third ace for Philippoussis. Sets up a match point for Philippoussis. He hangs on here. He gets to change ends, and he has the the better side for the next six points. Does he go with that kick out wide to the back, and that's been working? Or does he go for more pace here? Second set, he gave his serve back right away, and ultimately that was his undoing in that second set. All the credit though to Mark Philippoussis, served huge throughout the match, hit the big forehand, made some great plays when it mattered. We're going to take a break from this live coverage of the Newsweek Champions Cup, and we'll come back and wrap things up for you. Andre Agassi out in the first round of this year's Newsweek 